are you happily streaming and then suddenly your entire pc crashed all your important files gone all your streaming stuff gone everything is gone but fear no more there's an easy way to prevent this introducing obs portable mode get obs portable mode now in combination with an amazing cloud servers and never lose any of your files again act now before it's too late our quick stream advisors are ready to help you obs portable mode What's up everyone, my name is Mr. Duralicious and as you could tell from that intro, today I'm going to show you how you can get a portable installation for OBS. And one of the reasons that this is a very clever thing to do is that this way it allows you to install your OBS with all your scenes, all your settings, all your transitions, everything that you use, you can install it in a safe location. Think along the lines of Dropbox or Google Drive or Microsoft OneDrive or any of those services. Maybe you even have your own web server at home or somewhere in the cloud that you use. And this way you can have your entire OBS installation installed and ready to go from that location and one of the best things about that is that whenever your PC crashes or for whatever reason you can't access your OBS anymore all you have to do is simply download it from that cloud service and everything is exactly the way that it always was you don't have to install new plugins you don't have to set up your scenes again you don't have to set up your transitions again every setting that you have changed in OBS is still the exact same so let's pop over to our browser so I can show you how to do this so we're here in our browser and we actually went to the OBS Studio website. And from there, you're going to click on the big download button up here. And then instead of actually getting the installer that you would normally get, we're going to download the zip file this time. So click on that and then make sure that you put it somewhere that you will find it later on. And then once that's downloaded, we're actually going to take that zip file and then unpack it to the location that we want to have our portable installation of OBS in. Now, of course, keep in mind that if you want to make a safe backup of your OBS installation with all your scenes and sources and everything still intact, you do want to probably put it in some kind of local cloud service folder. For instance, your local Google Drive folder or your local Dropbox folder, which will then automatically sync up to those cloud services. Now, of course, you can put it anywhere you want to put it. You can put it in your downloads folder, on your desktop, wherever. It doesn't matter. And for the sake of this video, I took the zip file and I put it here on my desktop just so I can easily show you where you need to put everything. So we got our zip file that we just downloaded. And all we have to do is we need to unpack this. So right click that and unpack everything and then we're going to unpack it to a local folder. You can call the folder anything you want. It doesn't matter again as long as you know what's inside of that folder. So once everything is unpacked, which is going to take a couple of minutes, we now have our new OBS Studio installation residing completely in this folder. We're going to delete this zip file. But there's a couple of things that we need to do in order to actually make this a proper portable installation. One thing that we need to do is we need to open it up and then you will see these three folders inside. Now, basically, the only thing that you have to do to make this a proper portable installation is we need to make a text file. So right click and select make a new text document. And we are going to call this OBS underscore portable underscore mode. That's it. You don't have to put anything inside of the text file as long as you make this new text file. Call it OBS underscore portable underscore mode dot txt. And that's it. Next time you can go into the bin folder, 64 bit folder, and then you have your obs64.exe file here. Now, before we open it up, one thing that you want to do is you want to right click on that, select properties. You want to go to compatibility and then you want to select the checkbox here to always run this program as an administrator. So we've done that. And then once you click on this file and it will start a brand new installation of OBS, you can set it up like you would normally would do as well. But this is basically the most important thing. So we've just set up this new portable OBS. You can see up here as well, it says OBS portable mode. And that's how you know that you've done the right thing and that you actually installed it correctly. Now, one thing that you will see is that in the folder that we just created, there's a new folder that has been made, which is the config folder. And inside of that you will have all your scenes or your sources all of that will be residing inside of this folder and that's why this is a portable mode because normally this folder is actually located somewhere else on your pc and that's basically all you have to do when you've done this you have created a portable installation of obs and you can start filling it up with all your scenes all your sources and you can start streaming for that as well but now of course i hear some of you think but wait what if i have my obs already installed but it's not a portable mode that's actually pretty simple too you can just swap it for a portable mode let me show you how to do that so we're going to go to the location that you have already installed your OBS in. And normally that's going to be your program files folder. So let's go there. 
program files. And as you can see, we have this OBS Studio folder that has these three folders inside. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the folders that are inside of this and we're going to drag them to our new location. And once you've done that, you also want to go to another folder where your configuration files are actually stored. So that's going to be your scenes, your sources, all your settings, all that kind of stuff is going to be stored in that location. For that, you want to type in your address bar and we're going to type in percentage sign app data percentage sign. And then here again, you will see an OBS Studio folder. Now, like I said, this is going to have all your configuration. So what we need to do actually in our new location, we're going to actually make a new folder and call that config. And there we're going to drop in the OBS Studio folder that we just found in the app data roaming folder. And then the last thing, of course, that you have to do is you need to make that text file, which is going to say OBS underscore portable underscore mode dot txt. You do need to make that. And then once you go again to the bin 64 bit, you open up this OBS. Now, of course, I didn't make any scenes, but you will see that it will run and that you will have all your scenes and everything. It's still going to be intact just the way that you had it when you had it installed normally. And there you have it. That's how you can create your very own portable version of OBS. Now, like I said before, this is a very clever thing to do when you want to have a backup of your OBS in a cloud service, but also you can have a second installation of OBS like this. If you want to test out, for instance, some new plugins or you want to test out some new scenes, this is a perfect way to basically create a completely separate installation of OBS without messing up your regular streaming version of OBS. Now, I hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was, I would highly appreciate your support for my channel, which you can give in the form of a thumbs up on this video. You can subscribe to my channel and of course you can ring the bell so you know exactly when my next video goes live. Also, if you want to catch me live, I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. The links are in the description down below and I would love to see you and have you in my chat because I always like meeting new people. So don't be shy to drop on by and say hi. Now to end this video, as always, the last thing that I will say is that my name is Mr. Delicious. You are all extremely delicious yourselves as well. Take care, have a good one, and happy streaming. Wait, do I have uh, Molotovs maybe? Oh wait, actually I do, I do. Okay, you know what? Oh crap! Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! Wait, wait, S drop and roll, drop and roll! Oh.